All right, then welcome back everyone. Let's solve this question. Poly and game with theories. So I hope you have read the question once, but I'll quickly summarize the question for you. So what this question is saying is we are given n arrays of varying sizes. And what is important to note here is um, each array size is greater than or equals to b. And what action can be performed is, so this Artem guy give this girl Olya uh, game. So what she can do is she can move at most one integer from each array, right? So an integer can be picked up from an array and moved to some other array. And we have no restriction, uh, like multiple elements can be added to the same array. That is fine. And what they have given is, they have given this concept of beauty. So what is this beauty is, just pick minimum of all the arrays and sum them up, right? And what we want is, what we want is we want to maximize this beauty. And the question is clear. We have n arrays of varying sizes greater than equals to 2. An action is defined. Move at most one integer from each array to other, right? At most one. So you may not move an integer from an array to another array, fine? And they have defined this beauty. What is this beauty? Just collect the minimum of, a minimum of all the arrays and sum them up, right? And what we want to do is we want to maximize the beauty. So in each array, uh, we want the minimum element to be as big as possible, right? So that's what it means. We want to maximize the beauty and that can be achieved by making sure the minimum element in the each array is as big as possible, fine? And the input is pretty simple. We are given the n arrays of varying sizes and what you have to print is you have to just print the maximum beauty that we can achieve, right? So we, they are not asking us the rearrangement. Uh, so this action will cause some rearrangement, right? So after this rearrangement, uh, whatever the maximum beauty you can achieve uh, should be like, just print that, right? What is the maximum beauty that you can achieve? I guess the question is clear. Uh, let's just uh, quickly see how do you approach this question? In this question, uh, quickly, like one thing that comes to mind is what we want is, we want that in each array, the action is pretty simple, right? Move an element from an array to another, another array, right? At most one. So you may not move any element in the worst case. Uh, but what we want is we want the minimum element to be as big as possible, right? So you should write the observations like uh, minimum element as big as possible, right? So minimum element in each array uh, needs to be as big as possible. Fine. So what is the simplest kind of strategy that comes to your mind? So this is a thousand rated question. So again, uh, like, you know, in the context when this question comes, a complicated logic will not be used. So probably a greedy is a good way to think about it. Okay, it may work, right? So I'm not saying uh, you should not think in terms of um, concept and then apply. Just try what comes to your mind. Uh, just try greedy first because that's the most uh, simplest thing that will come to your mind first. And if it works, good. Otherwise, move on to the next strategy, right? So what should be like if you think about being greedy, uh, what we want is uh, we want the minimum element to be as big as possible, right? And what action do we have? Moving an element to other area, right? So what are you going to do? Uh, one greedy strategy that can come to your mind is straight away, uh, move minimum element move minimum element move, move minimum element from each area right so this can straight away come to your mind that you want to move the minimum element from each area because in the end minimum elements are creating the problem right so what you want you have is you have some areas you have some areas at your disposal and what you want is the beauty is defined as collect all the minimum elements and sum them up and this minimum elements are problem so what you want to do is you just want to make sure this minimum element is not part of this area and move somewhere else now i know of course in the end uh, uh, this in the end element will be moved uh, like spread across the areas but bear with me so this can come to your mind straight away right so if i can somehow move the minimum element of each array to some other, some other array my job is done right cool so then it should come to your mind so should i dump all the minimum element to a single array because in the end elements uh, cannot go out right we don't have a separate array right we only have uh, n arrays at our disposal right we have n arrays at our disposal the strategy that we thought about is uh, move minimum from each arrays right so this uh, straight away comes to your mind move the minimum from each array to some other array, right? So move the minimum. Now, since we know that elements cannot go out, we don't have a separate array where we can throw all the minimum arrays. Otherwise, the answer will be simply some of all the second minimum elements, right? But we have to rearrange all the elements uh, in place, right? So how do you decide it? So where do you dump this minimum element, right? Where do you dump this minimum? First of all, like, do you agree with me that you have to dump all the minimum elements in a single array? Uh, do you agree with me that you will collect the minimum elements from each array and you will dump it in one of the arrays, one of these arrays? If you don't agree with me, hear me out. Uh, it can be easily producing contradiction. Uh, let's say we have arrays like this, okay? So I'm drawing these arrays as same sizes, but they may or may not be, okay? But it doesn't really change the equation. The important thing is each of the array, the size is greater than equals to two. That is very important. Uh, because we have to correct the second minimum, right? So it is very smartly given that uh, the array sizes are greater than equals to two, right? So where was I? So you agree with me that we have to dump all the minimum to a single array, first minimum, right? So why not more than one array? So why not more than one array? So I can give you one very simple example here. We don't want to go into too much math. Let's say in all the areas, the minimum element is one. And if you decide to not uh, distribute this one to a single array, what will happen is you'll be left out with, uh, let's say some areas, you let, will be left out in the worst case, can be with two areas, which has one here, right? Now, this can never be your optimal answer. Why? You can, you can always move this one here, right? You can always move this one here. And again, uh, here the second minimum will take place and your job, like, you'll have the beauty to be maximized, right? Now, of course, provided here that the elements are distinct, but you got the point, right? So uh, you have to make sure that all the minimum elements are in a single array. If it is not, if it is not the case, you can always move uh, the minimum element uh, 
you can always move the minimum element from from an area to a single area and your job will be done right so i guess this should not be very difficult uh, fine so what was the strategy uh, move minimum element from each area to a dustbin area right we have to dump it and the dustbin area how do you decide the dustbin area so now that's important question so one thing we figured out we have to move the minimum element from each area to a dustbin area so how do you decide this dustbin uh, which where are you going to dump it uh, dustbin no dustbin uh, dustbin okay okay think about it what is the strategy um, in the end uh, when you collect the second minimum from all the areas what are you effectively achieving you are effectively the beauty will become effectively let's say if we had a separate area to dump then the beauty was effectively becoming sum of all the second minimum right right so for now assume let's say we had a different area where you can dump all the first minimum then everything will be uh, perfect and now the beauty will become simply second minimum uh, so the beauty depends on the second minimum value right now where do you want to dump the elements of course you dump it of course you dump it in the array where the second minimum where the second minimum is least right in the end your beauty will become what sum of all the beauties uh, sum of uh, like sum of all the second minimum right assume right now that we have a separate area where you can dump all the minimum in that case our beauty will become sum of all the second minimum but here we have to choose an area where we have to dump all the elements right so the area in which you are going to dump uh, area which you are going to dump there you are going to dump all the minimum elements so in that case uh, only for that array uh, the minimum element will be the smallest of all the elements right so in that case uh, just pick the area so we have to compromise on one second minimum right so one of the second minimum so among all these areas among all these areas there will be one of the area i don't know which one uh, but that area second minimum will not contribute to the answer that area second minimum will not contribute to the answer because you are going to dump all the minimum here right so you are going to pick a minimum here 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 and you are dump into a single area and in that area the second minimum won't contribute now which area should you pick of course the one which has the second minimum as less as possible right so that is important right so first thing is we have to move the minimum from each area to a separate area to like your dustbin area and how do you decide the dustbin area decide the dustbin area in which the second minimum is least why because we are going to dump all the minimum to that area so that second minimum second minimum of that area is not going to contribute to our beauty since we want to maximize the beauty take that area such that the second minimum is least right fine so let me just uh, i guess uh, the question concept is clear let me just show you the pseudo code how it's going to work and then you can quickly jump back to the coding right so what we are effectively doing is we are uh, selecting the minimum and dumping to a uh, array in which the second smallest is as least as possible so what we are effectively doing is um, we are first of all summing all these second minimums right first we have to sum all the second minimums fine but one of them won't contribute which one the smallest second minimum the smallest second minimum won't contribute to our beauty why because this is the dustbin array so this belongs to uh, this belongs to our uh, you can say the dustbin area where we are going to dump everything right and for that area uh, what minimum will contribute it will be the smallest of all the elements because anyway we are throwing all the minimum here right so yeah and here it will be minimum of uh, all the elements right because we are throwing all the minimum from like n minus 1 arrays to here so either among those n minus 1 will be smallest of all the elements or it will be present in this array itself right so that will be it so we are summing all the second minimums but one second minimum won't be considered where we dump all the first minimums and in that case the minimum of all the elements will be considered so this is you can say the calculation for the dustbin array right we are removing the second minimum because it won't contribute to the second minimum it will actually contribute the smallest of all the elements fine so i guess yeah that was about this question uh, i don't think i have anything much to discuss let's see the implementation the implementation is very straightforward fine okay guys um, let's quickly code up the solution so this is the formula that we figured out right maximum beauty is um, sum of all the second minimum minus smallest second minimum plus minimum i have not, not done much i have just taken the input so n is number of arrays and m is the size of each array and that's that so what we need is uh, we need a way to calculate the minimum elements and uh, sum of all the second minimum right so we need two things here uh, first we will uh, we'll store the smallest of all the elements and we need a vector uh, which stores the second minimum so these two things are required here right so i've already taken the area input um, what i do is um, i first find out the minimum element of the current array whatever i have so that can be easily used uh, easily found out using this stl function min element so here i can just pass my array so all of arr i guess you already know it's array dot begin array dot end so and then i'm going to get the i should name it mini because min is a function right so this mini uh, will be equal to min of minimum element of this current array and mini because in the end mini should hold the smallest of all the elements right and uh, now what you want to find out the second minimum right so second minimum will be what uh, you remove this minimum element from this array and now the minimum that you have is your second minimum right so in this array you just uh, erase this so first uh, find where this minimum element is present so find function can be used right so find array dot begin array dot end and uh, minimum element so basically delete this if you erase I'm passing iterator here. This find all error minimal uh, is gonna return the iterator, the minimum element, and I'm gonna erase it. 
and now the minimum element in my array would be the second minimum and i'll simply push back right so in this i will simply push back the second minimum right because i have already removed the minimum element so now the minimum element is the second minimum right so I'm using a lot of shortcuts here but i guess if you're following the playlist you should be knowing all of the shortcuts fine so that's that I'll, i have the minimum now and i have the second minimum now the simple formula right so this formula will apply now let's do this so i'll just calculate the duty i'm keeping it long long uh, just for safety because i'm summing right so it will be minimum plus uh minimum plus sum of all the second minimum right so you can use accumulate here accumulate all of min 2 and we can start with uh, zero fine and uh, we have to subtract what we have to subtract smallest second minimum right so that can be again figured out we already collect the second minimum so smallest second minimum would be simply minimum element of min 2 right min 2 we have already calculated right so that's that now let me just print it so i think it works 519 let me just submit it it works uh, thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one